Welcome everyone, Yvonne Costell, your health strategist, and today I am whipping up some breakfast burritos. They are low carbohydrate, low cal, very delicious, and they are paleo, keto, gluten-free, grain-free, diabetic friendly, and they can be vegetarian if you leave out the sausage. So how am I gonna do that? I wanted to share with you one of my favorite new products, it, they are crepinis. So the crepini is an egg wrap made out of cage-free egg whites and eggs and cauliflower. And they just, they taste just like a crepe. And even for those people that don't like cauliflower, you're gonna like this. It's past the, I don't like cauliflower test in this house. So the original sizes were this large and the, the one they may still have these but these contain 30 calories and you can see you know it's just like a crepe they're really fine and they're, they're delicious now the new full-size crepini is perfect for for a burrito and the new ones are only 30 calories per per serving and a lot of the other wraps that we see in the grocery store they're sometimes 35 40 grams of, or 40, yeah, 40 grams of carbohydrates per serving, 120 calories. So you can still have what you love, but we're just using different ingredients. So today I'm gonna be using my favorite Sabatino's Paleo Organic Basil Cracked Black Pepper Sausage that you can find at Costco. The egg white crepinis you can also find at Costco in the refrigerated section, not the freezer section. They do need to be refrigerated. So I've got three eggs here, along with some grass-fed New Zealand cheddar cheese from Trader Joe's. Who knew that she's a grass, but it's a very clean version, delicious. And then just some broccoli, shiitake mushrooms, spinach, and tomatoes. So let's get that cooking. All right, so all I'm gonna start with is just melt some coconut oil in the pan here you can use ghee butter you know grass-fed butter even water to saute for trying to cut down on the calories there they come somebody said sausage <laughs> my little sausages no but no thank you i swear loves were chefs in previous lives so just sauteing the sausage. And the sausages, again, found at Costco, they're not in the frozen section, they're in the refrigerated section. Another purpose of how I use the crepinis is sometimes I'll just spread some almond butter in there and roll it up. You, know, you can also use it as a dessert like you would a crepe. Very, very versatile, very satisfying. Now just adding in the vegetables. Costco now sells the broccoli, the organic broccoli in the frozen section in individual packages. It's okay if you're using it, like I'm using it for, for eggs, but I, I, prefer, I prefer fresh vegetables. The pecking order when you're buying vegetables would be fresh, frozen, and then canned. Adding a bit of pepper and Himalayan sea salt. I'm not afraid to salt. I do have a very high sweat rate when I work out and uh, quite a bit of protein in my diet. And the more protein you have in your diet, the more salt that you actually need. So we often think of salt as a bad thing. It's not. But you want to avoid the traditional white table salt that you see in restaurants if you remember what that looks like when they get to go out again so that looks all nice i love i love the colors of the vegetables when you're cooking and with my you got this spatula a must so let's add the eggs i just do two or three cage-free eggs 
I, I try and buy the cleanest ingredients as I can find. I'm very fortunate. We have access to a lot of, you know, grass-fed organic meats, organic vegetables. So it really makes it a lot easier to eat and, and stay healthy. And the, the cleaner your ingredients are and the healthier foods are, the less food that you actually need. Let's get our crepini ready. I prefer just to have my burrito plain, but others may like to put ketchup on it. So ketchup is fine as long as you really make sure that you get a clean version to cut the sugar down. So one tablespoon of the traditional ketchup will give you one teaspoon of sugar. Remember how much sugar we're supposed to be having during the day? Men, maximum nine teaspoons, and women, six teaspoons of sugar. So, you know, how do you, how do you want to spend it? The brand Primal Kitchen only has one gram of sugar per tablespoon. So this has four times the amount of sugar than the Primal Kitchen. And Primal Kitchen has a great brand of salad dressings and marinade sauces. So you can find these at Whole Foods. You can find them at Thrive.com if you're not going out grocery shopping. And sometimes they're less expensive on ThriveMarket.com. So you can just find them in so many places. I almost forgot to add the grass-fed cheese. So just adding that. Spreading it around. Now it's time for the eggs. Mmm, it smells great. So this actually makes at least two servings. Again, it, it's going to be very filling but low calorie because we have a lot of vegetables in here. Now time to wrap it. I've never been good at this, but it's much easier with the full size crepini than the smaller ones. All right, look at this little guy. So traditionally a burrito can be very high in calories and fat, but we just, you know, we can have, we can still have them, but we just switching out the ingredients. And once you start eating cleaner and healthier, you're not gonna wanna go back to the old way. It just, it just doesn't taste as good. So until next time, stay safe and healthy. Thanks for joining me today. Bye for now.